Hello there. Today is Vlogmas 14, and I didn't really vlog anything for my classroom today because we did pretty much a rapid review. But I did just want to give you an in depth look at Kahoot and how you can assign Kahoot as a homework. So here it goes. Okay, so first things first, you want to go ahead and select a Kahoot. I've logged into Kahoot here. And I just wanted to know if you noticed about the different ways that you can do Kahoot. Uh, you can do it as a quiz, introduce, review, and reward. You can do it as, a, as in a jumble, which I really do enjoy a jumble. And really, they just move them around and organize them in pieces from either least to greatest or anything like that. But they just don't select an answer. They actually have to put them and move them around in order. You have a survey. And then you also have a discussion, initiate, and facilitate a debate. So I definitely um, am going to try some different ones. I have done the quiz one that I do most often, the jumble one, and I've also done the survey. I haven't really dabbled in the discussion a lot, but I am looking forward to trying that when we come back from winter break, especially just to kind of help guide my classroom from then on. So here we go. I'm going to come over here to my cahoots and I am going to select a cahoot. So I'm just going to use this one just to kind of show you as a demo. So let's say I select seasons, moon, phases, and tides. I will select it. And Kahoot looks a little bit different now with the pictures and everything like that because of all the new features. You have the questions that you can go through and you can just hit show answers and it will show all of the answers all of the questions and you can change them and see which ones are correct and um, you can click on it to edit it if you need to come over here I can hit this right here I can see results from when I've done it in the past I can edit the Kahoot I can make a copy of the Kahoot if I want to take off certain questions or duplicate it to maybe make some other changes I can preview it and I can share with other teachers or send other people links to this Kahoot now here's where the fun part happens right here where it says challenge this is where you are able to now assign a Kahoot as a homework, fun, challenge, okay? So if you if you want to just normally play it for a classroom, you just hit play. But in order to send it as a homework, you're going to hit challenge. You're like, wow, how am I going to do this as a homework? So you go ahead and you hit challenge. You can now set a due date and a time for when the challenge will be over. So I can say I want them to do it and they have 15 days. 14 is the most, so it's two weeks. I can say one day from now and then it will end at a certain time. I'll say maybe it'll end at 12 p.m. or 1 p.m. in the next day. Okay, and then I set it. Once you set it, you can give them a challenge link and the challenge pin. Now here's the key thing about the homework. They have to have the Kahoot app and I'm going to show you that on my iPad they have to have the Kahoot app in order to do the game in order to do it as a homework they cannot just go to this link and then go to the pin so I'm going to show you what happens when you just go to the link and what it's going to tell you to do it's just going to tell you to download the app anyway so I just tell the kids to go straight to the app and enter in the pin code just like if they were entering in the pin code for the game so here I am going to just show you now on the iPad what it looks like. Okay, so now I am going to show you how to use the Kahoot um, as a homework. And first what I'm going to show you is what happens when you type in the link into either Safari or Google Chrome or anything like that if you give the students the link. And I strongly, strongly advise you not to give students the link. And that's why I want to show you what will happen if you do. So if you give the students the link and they go ahead and type it in, it's going to advise them to download the app. And instead of you having to deal with all of the backlash of, oh, I didn't know how to download the app. I didn't have the app downloaded, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Just go ahead and just make them download the app first in your classroom and just give them just the pin code. It works a whole lot better and you won't have to deal with the back and forth of I didn't have the app. So if you notice here, even if they enter in the, the web address, it gives them the pin in order to make sure that they have the pin when they go back to the app. So now you're going to see I'm going to exit out of Safari 
And on my home screen, which I am using an iPad, you'll see the Kahoot app underneath the Gmail. And it has little holiday lights on it and everything like that is decorated. It's really, really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Kahoot app. And I'm going to show you the interface as soon as you go in. You see featured Kahoots at the top. You see recently played Kahoots in the middle. And then you'll see top picks of Kahoots that they recommend for you to play based off of your history or just because it's the holidays. Um, we have Hour of Code and everything like that. So down very at the very, very bottom, you will see Enter Pin. So I clicked on Enter Pin and this is what popped up. So I'm going to go ahead and click and type in the game pin and it's going to pull up a Kahoot. Now for this particular Kahoot, there are 10 challenges as you'll see 10 boxes and the kids are going to play them in order to gather points. And they are basically the same questions that you have provided in your original Kahoot. Okay, they have a leaderboard at the top. They can see how many kids have currently played it and they can see who they are playing against. And the leaderboard usually shows them where they are in the position and then the top three people for that particular Kahoot. So right here, I logged in and then I'm going to put my name. It usually defaults the name that I've already used before. And then I hit OK Go. Has ready, set, go. It does it just like it would do in your classroom. It gives them a countdown for how long it's going to take them to answer the question. And it's just going to pretty much show them the same pictures and everything with the same answer choices, except all only thing is that they're literally playing against other people, but just not at the same time. Okay. And I really like this feature just because it allows them to still get the same feel as if it's in the classroom but they get to do it on their own so it, it, I really think that it'd be a great feature for you to use in your classroom especially since you can also have them favorite their cahoots by hitting the star on the right hand side if you look up at the top of this picture you'll see that it says that I've won one cahoot so it gives them little coins and things like that down at the bottom you'll see the search bar they can search for particular cahoots and then you also see the little person um, they can make their own account. Um, since my school is a Google for Education school, the, my students um, are, can log in through Google. So that's a great feature because it then also saves all of the things that they are going to, you know, that they did. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what happens if you want to play a Kahoot that's already, that has not been played before. So right here, I clicked on a Kahoot that I've never played. Down at the bottom, on the bottom right hand, you'll see the purple button that says play. You'll click it. So there's two options. You can do a challenge friends where you can create your own challenge and then you give them a game pin or the link. I strongly advise you not to give them the link and then just give them the game pin and then they can take that game pin and put it on their Kahoot app and they can play against you. And then you also have the curious crew. And so what that is, is that you will play by yourself against ghost players from within Kahoot. It's really, really cool because you can practice it and do it has however many times you want to do it. And literally you're playing against the Kahoot app. So that's just another feature that makes the Kahoot app so much better for you and your kids. Also, when you are playing it in the classroom, I strongly recommend you just to give tell them to go through the app and use the game pen. So right here, I'm showing you what it looks like if you hit the account. You have your profile. You can sign in and out. You can change any of the settings if you want to turn off the music. You have your favorites. You can go in there and see all the ones that you have favorited. You have my cahoots. And since I am the you know a teacher and I can see all the cahoots that I have created. And then you have your profile. You have your game stats. So I definitely strongly strongly encourage you to look into the Kahoot app for your kids and give them that different option to use and just go in and play with it. They can download it on their iPhone. They can download it on their Android phone. They can download it on their Windows phone as long as it has the Windows app. And I'm pretty sure they do. Please don't quote me there. If not, at least they're working on it. So thank you so much. I hope that this was very helpful. And I will see you tomorrow in Vlogmas Day 16. Bye.